Today, I am actually gonna be doing this based off of somebody in the community. His question to me was, how do I optimize V-Trigger 1? How do I get the most out of it? Because he felt like every time he activated, he always did all the records with Ball Ball, right? And of course, the more records you do, the more damage scaling it has. I'm gonna show you ways to optimize and when to cut it short if you activate it a wrong way in order to retain some meter. Yo, ever die! I messed up a little bit, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now, of course, this video can imply to any character that has records for that V-Trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and practice on Bison. Why? Because we don't like him. All right. So you can get up to five records before you get to the final one and you have one more you could do before it runs out completely. So that's six punches, AKA records, before the V-Trigger runs out. Let's go ahead and talk about certain activation routes that will actually scale the damage. So let's say I activate off of this. All right, look, look at that damage scale. That damage scale is through the roof. Let's go ahead and look at it one more time. But with more hits, look at that, scale. Soul scale. You didn't really get no bang for your buck. The more hits you do before you activate V trigger will scale the damage, right? So let's say you activate like this. Right? This is also pretty eh because you did a target combo and it's activation. Some optimal routes if you want to get the most bang for your buck is definitely off of one hit. Just about the same damage, but here's where the strength of V-Trigger 1 comes into play at. Once you see the damage scaling is starting to become pretty big, you always want to end it with V-Skill Turn Punch, where it's going to leave you at a plus two restance, where the throw is deadly, the low is a threat, and you can also not even go for Turn Punch. You can, you can actually go for overhead. So this is a very deadly situation altogether. So let's say I go ahead and showcase that first combo from earlier, right? Ah, 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 into this, right? I'm going to turn punch after the second record. At this given time, you already know if I continue punching, my damage is going to be very scaled. So there's no need to do that. If you do it, you're going to be wasting V meter for nothing. Not that. Uh, 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 into this. Uh, uh, turn punch. Now it's time to guess. Plus two restance, they have to hold it. Another thing, this, 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 that. Into this. So this combo right here is also pretty good. Turn punch is plus two, and also ending it with dash straight. Heavy dash straight is also plus two. They both leave you in a throw situation that is really good. So if you want to just save the meter all together and put your opponent in a guest for game, without even burning the meter, you can do it just like that. Same reward is just that you won't burn some resources for that second record. You'll, you'll have a little bit more meter. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get more into this video, please, if you've made it this far with this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn that post notification bell on to get notified for every video I upload. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I, I can't thank y'all enough. Uh, let's, let's just continue to roll. Let me go ahead and put him to set guard recovery action to jab. So, ah, 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 ah. It's a ah, 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 ah. This is gonna automatically be a trade situation because crouching light is plus one on block and my crouching jab is a full frame startup. So if you want this to be a true frame trap, you would have to do crouching light and the standard light kick. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, 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 uh. See, now, now you're getting more bang for your buck instead of just going straight into just punch, 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 punch. Instead of just doing this. This, this right here is wasting the V-Trigger. Unless, so let's say the life is right here, right? And you want to go for that kill. Then it's perfect to do that. That is beautiful. That is the perfect time to waste. Well, not, not even waste. That is the perfect time to use all the V record punches at one time when you feel like that kill is guaranteed, right? Hey, 
moments like that. But anytime you know it's not going to kill, you want to always try and go for a V skill turn punch plus two uh, restance. Go for a, a overhead if like they may get hit or V skill low and go for the hollow mix. That is the strengths of V trigger one. If you feel like it's going to kill, go ahead and use all the records at one time. If you feel like you need to really put somebody in a nasty, nasty situation, I highly suggest most likely ending it after the second record and then going straight into turn punch. Here's another thing to take into consideration, right? If you're going from corner to corner, right? You may want to do more records just to get them closer to the corner, right? So that's more of a personal preference right there. If you feel like you want to go corner to corner, then you could burn all the records and it'll still be good use. Why? Because it went from you being in the corner to them being in the corner. Feel like you can fight with the mid screen, you can still end it after the second record. But in a situation like this, I would most likely push them to the corner. Or at least get them close. And then take it from there. Oh yeah, I forgot with, with that buff, the combo is a little different now. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, hopefully this video was found helpful to those who are curious about how to really optimize a record V trigger. So I may have showcased it with Balrog, but this applies to any character with this sort of comeback mechanic, right? So thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, shout outs to the brother man himself who gave me this question at the event. I went on and made a video for you, my dude. So hopefully you run across this and get a more in-depth look on what i say in, in person uh yeah y'all thank y'all for tuning in catch y'all in the next one hey yo eh, eh, ah my brother you already know what to do